It's been a week of continued protests across the state sparked by the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. His death and those protests have led to calls for change right here in Raleigh. Right now, there are some protesters assembling at the state capitol. That's where we find our Colleen Quigley with the latest. Colleen. Yeah, Marius and Angela, an update since I spoke to you in the last hour. I'm going to step out of the way. You can see this group here outside the state capitol just gathering, and some of the speakers are actually standing on the Confederate monument that stands outside the North Carolina state capitol here in Raleigh. Uh, now, we are expecting protests like this throughout the weekend, which is why Raleigh's mayor says she put in that 10 p.m. curfew in place tonight, Saturday and Sunday. She says something she wishes she had done last Sunday night. As businesses paint their boarded up storefronts, Raleigh's mayor announces another night of citywide curfews. This will cause hardship on many in our community who have already suffered under the pressures of COVID-19. Mayor Marianne Baldwin says she regrets not implementing a curfew Sunday night when vandals damaged North Hills businesses. Hindsight is 2020, though. With the information that we had at the time, we hope that wouldn't be necessary. Um, we found out otherwise, and it's a regret I will live with. Friday, Raleigh's police chief defended her department's use of tactical gear Saturday evening after a peaceful march during the day turned into vandalism and looting later that evening. People came with an intention to do the damage that they did. Chief Cassandra Deck Brown says officers responded after a group stormed a sally port of a Wake County Municipal building. The anarchy is not a pre peaceful protest. And what we saw and the end results of Fayetteville, that's unacceptable beyond measure. The chief and mayor say this is an opportunity for tough conversations about race and racism in Raleigh. Please don't think because I'm in this uniform that I don't get discriminated against. And a chance to make a change. It's important to have that transparency. And I think the public is looking for us to act with urgency. Okay, back live now at the state capitol. We're getting a look at this latest peaceful protest. And the mayor saying today at the next city council meeting, they're going to start to appoint members of the police advisory board. And Mayor Baldwin wants their first order of business to review the eight can't wait campaign. It's a list of eight policies to decrease police violence. Now, according to the eight can't wait website, the Raleigh Police Department currently follows five of those eight suggested policies. Reporting live in Raleigh, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News.